Hello my friends, I'm at Vossen Wheels today here in Miami, Florida, just in my backyard. So I got to drive here and have a good time in that drive on 95. You know that's a lie, so much traffic. But as I was walking through here, I noticed the vertical integration of these watch-on machines behind me. And if you've heard some of the conversations we've had previously about vertical integration, you'll notice how much space is actually saved. We got one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, we got six of these bad boys behind me right now. Two of them you can't see just off to my left hand side, your right hand side. But six of these things taking up the, the space of not even a vertical milling center because these turning centers are meant to save space. Also, because what we're doing here is rims, as you might be able to see behind me as it's being lifted up behind me as well, they must be machined at that angle. So this turning center, not having to fight gravity, not having to fight all the chip removal, the coolant helping with the finish, with the weight, because what they described to me while machining aluminum is that some of these are thinner than some of the others. Eh, kind of a redundant statement, but you know what I'm trying to say. They're thinner than the others, so if they were to clamp this down on some of the horizontal turning centers, they'd have to clamp down hard enough that some of these pieces might get bowed. So when you're not fighting against gravity with some of the heavier pieces that are here that are casted, forged, and you let gravity do its work, plus the vertical integration of space, that's the significance of what comes to some of these heavier parts in the automotive world, in the aerospace world, as you can see behind me with these watch-on machines. So I saw it here. I just want to throw it out a little bit of information for you guys. I hope this is helpful. Hope it makes sense for your machine shop as well to see how vertical integration can be done and vertical turning can be done.